Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee's season today. Jay Lee sees The Walking Dead, season 11, episode 11. Hey hey. What in the name of little billy goats are you doing? I woke up early and I couldn't get back to sleep, so I started reading a novel. Hold on. Wait. D is already sharing a bed. I love it. And I'm really proud of you. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go to work. Get in there, Eugene. I was thinking about you yesterday while I was getting my knife sharpened. And... Should I be alarmed here? <laughs> uh, no, the thought particular cutler also happens to be a key cutter. Oh my god, he's giving her a key. Stephanie. I love you. Oh. I love you too. Oh, oh my god, got me worried for a second. I still don't know if I can trust you though, girl, but I'm just gonna relish in the scenes of Eugene all loved up because I've never seen that before in my life and you know what I never thought I was gonna see it so good for you geese I'm on your side let's celebrate of so little frame of reference I cannot wholly conceive of what comes next do you love her a strong affirmative and she has said that she reciprocates then relax I'm serious when a woman tells you that she loves you believe her I knew she were going to turn up. I just don't know why. I just knew it because everything was too good to be true. Oh my gosh, she's got the yick. Maybe she's gone to someone important and been like, oh my god, listen up. Eugene, he's gone head over heels. He's given me a key and they've gone, oh my god, stand your ground. This was not part of a sinister plan. I'm sure you guys have somewhere. I can't believe they wouldn't even give me at least one full episode of this nonsense before you rip the rug from my foot. Oh my god, what? She's dead. That's the only decent excuse I will allow, love, for standing up my Eugene. Oh, she's off. Told you she got the yick, mate. And I do not know why. She says it doesn't look good. Yeah, I got that one. Trooper Davis has a story to tell. Something happened to Tyler Davis. Something that he blames Governor Milton for. Something worth confronting her in public over. Oh! He spoke of thousands more like it. What does that mean? What does that mean? We should be printing what really happened at the last great ball. But instead, you want to paraphrase what Governor Milton said in her press release. Oh my god, Connie, you are such a part of our tribe, you know, get into a settlement, be welcome with open arms, and we have to do everything we can to self-sabotage and find out all the gossip. I still can't believe this walking dead, you know, when I see things like electricity and clean stairwells, what the fuck? I like uncovering secrets. Tyler Davis, does he have a lawyer? What are the charges against him? Hello, Mercer. All right, goodbye, Mercer. She's not there. And then I'd like to make a statement immediately. Recount the details of her last knowns on the record now while they're still fresh in my mind. Sure. Come down to the station, I'll help you fill out the paperwork. Wait, is she in hiding within the Commonwealth or has she actually fled the Commonwealth? Because 
All you had to do, babe, was say, no, thank you, I don't want a key. I think we need to s slow down a little bit. Rather than be like, you know what, I'm so scared of commitment and love and treachery, which I'm sure she's involved in, by the way, that I'd rather face my life outside with the walkers trying to eat my face off. How often do you take trips like this? As often as I'd like. How often are you two hanging out? Is that why I'm here? You want to make a true believer out of me? I read your file. You're here because you're smart. I think you'll be able to help me deal with this asshole. What asshole? What are we? Drug dealers or smugglers? We're smugglers. But it's not what you think. This place is not exactly part of the common. Uh. We use the poppies to make opium for the hospital. <gasps> Things will start looking pretty bleak there if we run out. I make sure that doesn't happen. But sometimes that means dealing with guys like Moto. I told you they're gonna hold the harvest hostage. They wanna raise. I swear they'll let her rot without one. We got some back alley shenanigans happening there. Why is Master getting sinister music in the background? Are we not like friends with him now, now that he's in cahoots with my princess? I hope it's a double bluff and they're trying to make me think he's sinister when actually he's not. Oh my god, Eugene, please. So, what's up? I think he's spiraled. As the hours tick by with nary a breadcrumb to be found, I let my despair get the best of me. Hey, okay, this man, he, yeah, he was coming out of the building the other day. 1634 Racy. At 7 in the p.m. Seen coming down the stairs. I don't remember this. Oh, wait, uh, sir, 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 please. Three days ago, at approximately seven in the p.m. Yeah, that residential one. I remember that now. Uh huh. I got called in to fix a clogged sink. Needless to say, I greeted his story with a great deal of skepticism. I would say the mystery continues, but we can't know what happened. She willingly packed her own suitcase. So, like. What's this plumber's deal? What is this plumber's Star deal? His name is Roman Calhoun, and he is most definitely not a plumber. Ooh! The plot thickens. They were also met by a fifth, who I also believe to be the head honcho. The mastermind of some sort of rogue element within the government that Stephanie somehow ran afoul of. That was Mr. Used Car Sales Man. Rogue I recognize the hair silhouette. They took all her belongings to recover any evidence she may have gathered and now silencing her is the last step in repairing that leak. Really? That is a stretch. Her only hope is for me to expose them before they find her. Oh, yeah, see, we love to interfere. <laughs> so I can't give them what they want, but maybe we can meet halfway. They get a raise, but they earn it. Incentives. Produce more. Make more. What have we clocked, Carol? You're not looking at the horse thinking, oh my days, you look so delicious, are you? That walker is so animated. Oh my god, these walkers were crazy. They were running around like they had just done 80 lines of coke. What? Does that have anything to do with the fact that the woman he took hostage was your sister? Wait, what's going on? I wonder when you're going to figure that out. Wait, what? And he wound up feeling like 
the military was being manipulated by the politicians. Uh. If I was you, I would be really interested in who I was risking my life for. Mercer is so on our side, I do not care what anyone says. You is not fooling me with the sinister music in the background, always resting bitch face. I feel like he's going to be very important and integral to the gang by the end of this. I kind of hope so. This episode is just pure investigation on our part. We've got Connie and Kelly doing their little digging. We've got Carol sussing stuff out. We've got Eugene trying to find out where the hell everything is. Robbing them. Talk to one of the lieutenants. He's pocketing the money that you give him for raises and getting them to get quiet about it. Ah. Oh. Went too far the other night and that's why they're on strike. Uh, what do we do about that? I'm not going to go fishing with him anymore, that's for sure. You should let Carol sort him out. Take him into custody, yeah. Oh my god! He's just literally taking Carol's investigation skills as gospel. Hornsby! You mother puss bucket! You mother puss bucket. Oh, yes, I'm going to use that one. I don't know when I'll ever be able to use it, but I'll find a way. Carol is like, I ain't letting no disgruntled workers get beaten on my watch. Do you not know who I am and my story and my journey and what I've been through? Hey, Eugene. What's this guy do when it rains on his 10-mile run? Well, given our recent lack of precipitation, I know you gathered that data. Oh, he comes back from his well, run is what now. he does. We have to get out of here. Oh, Eugene, if you've implemented Princess in this, when she didn't even want to be involved, I'm going to be so annoyed. I'm telling you how much time you have, and you have no time. <gasps> oh. Why are we so shook? Everyone in this motherfucking world has a bloody ammunition on them. The world is crazy. What do you mean, that's them? Why are you grassing us up? Why are you snitched on us? Who even are you? <laughs> There's no one in M33. Yeah, we know. I realize that. <laughs> I want to know what happened to the man who was in there. He can't be moved without my authorization. Oh. I'm sorry, but apparently he can. Oh my god. You got blindsided. Oh! Okay, noted. Aggression. Roman Calhoun is exactly who he says he is. He's a plumber at Ruby's. Mr. Calhoun was sent to Stephanie's building on the night you saw him there to fix a sink in a work area. Mm -hmm. I told Calhoun your story. I told him about Stephanie. Explained everything you've been through, the mental anguish that it's caused you, and he has agreed to not press charges. So I feel like you were involved still. You were wrong about Calhoun. You need to accept that. Because if you don't, I'm not going to be able to help. Hmm. I don't think you are helping, sir. I should have known. The conspiracy goes deeper than I initially no! thought. No! None of this is <laughs> happening! Stephanie broke up with you! There's something right in front of you that you haven't quite clocked yet. Oh, maybe you start clocking it immediately. I mean, I've still not clocked it. I'm suspicious of everyone. Yeah, if this is a respite and none of you want to be here permanently, then you should treat this as a respite and get some rest. A list of names? Tell me everything. Who was the last one? 
Tyler Davis. Okay, okay. Oh, do we need to go investigate these names? What is this list the made of? Is it all the disgruntled motherfuckers in this joint? Is it all the people that have been silenced along the way for one reason or another? Who is this woman? Oh my god, this is the Bill Jean. Bill Jean? Bill Jean! This is the Bill Jean that you ding! <laughs> hey! Mate! Oh my god, what are we spraying him with? Acid? I told you I heard something. Oh my god, we just got kicked in the gut. Oh my god, Stephanie! <laughs> Love this. Well, I don't. Not for Eugene, but I love this for the plot. That is thickened before my eyes, <coughs> like stale custard. I have one. I knew you were involved as well. Oh my god, my observation skills are good. So good. Listen, don't put someone in a silhouette with distinctive hair in front of me, because I will clock them straight up. You corroborated Calhoun's bogus alibi. I was certain you were involved with covering up Stephanie's disappearance. Yep, so was I. Because Occam's razor should have led me to this conclusion before a well-placed kick to the belly ever did. There was never any Stephanie. I don't think there was. Who is she? I knew she weren't Stephanie. To pull at my heartstrings and to trick me into telling you everything you wanted to know about our communities. Well, it worked. Yeah. You certainly got your money's worth there. I just feel for that one twice. Oh. Someone that told me I can trust you. See, this is why I avoid love. Because it turns you into this. You didn't see this twist. I'm going to make absolutely certain that everybody knows exactly who and what you are. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Say something. Okay. Oh! I did what I had to do to get you here. And you know what? You should be thanking me for it. It's not my fault you people are too stupid to know a good thing when it landed in your laps. Only I'm allowed to say shit like that, sir. And you've got everything from concerts to cancer surgery. And literally the only thing we've ever asked of you all in return. <laughs> is to be productive members of society <laughs> as long as you choose to stay. Oh, that is so true, but... To be fair, this Lance kind of does have a point. Oh. But... Oh, wait. Anyway, Stephanie's real name is Shira. Shira? But she genuinely enjoyed your book. You should stick with it. What is this motherfucking place? Is Mercer good? Is Mercer bad? Is Lance good? Is he bad? Why hasn't Maggie come to visit? What's happening with that Milton's kid? Who's revolting? Why is there a list? He is not sticking with that book. He said, hell no, do not tell me what to do. I'm not going to take advice from my enemy. Eugene, I need to talk to you. This is Blue Weevil to Taterbug. Please come back. Uh, I don't want to be near you, Shira. It's me. I'm the one you were talking to on the radio. <gasps> really? Wait, so are you, Stephanie? Wait, all my days. Eugene, who are we in love with? Alright guys, that episode is done and dusted, let's talk about it. And we were getting our Sherlock Holmes on this episode, weren't we? So Lance, the used car salesman, and Carol were on a road trip. And they were there to organise some odium pickup for the hospital. Probably for some drugs as well, let's be fair. But the people that they were doing deals with, he was being underhanded and he was abusing his workers. Um, Carol clocked this, she did a bit of investigating, she found out, and now the man's been arrested. It's good to know that Carol, wherever she goes, she wields some kind of power. Connie and Kelly, if they had their way, they would do a hard-hitting 
news article on Tyler and all that he said at the masquerade ball, but they were shut down quick time and instead they had to do a article on the military propaganda. So they like had to shadow Mercer for a bit, but like Mercer's clocked on to how switched on Connie and Kelly are. And when he's finally scratched his noggin a little bit, going, hmm, is there any truth in what they're saying about this Tyler fella? When he goes to find Tyler, the man is gone. Another person who's gone this episode, Stephanie. Oh my god, it started off so well. Her and Eugene, they were in bed together. She was reading his book. I feel like they might have just been post-coitus, which means I think Eugene's lost his virginity to this girl. So he is madly in love, offers her a key, she says she loves him back, next thing you know, she's disappeared. So we had to go on a bloody scavenger hunt for this woman. And in his drunken, heartbroken, paranoid mind, Eugene has decided that there is something more afoot going on here, there is a bigger picture, and you know what, because he's got a big, beautiful brain, He's actually right. Turns out this Stephanie was not called Stephanie at all. She was called Shira. They were all playing with his emotions in order to get as much information as possible. But they kind of tried to soften their own blow and justify it by saying, but look what we gave you in return. So everyone's a winner. Which I kind of do get a little bit, but that is still really underhanded. And then right at the end, when we thought all... That whole storyline was over and it was just going to be Eugene getting better and healing from his heartbreak. No, 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 no. Because the woman who works for Mrs. Milton, who Tyler held a knife to the throat, she's like, by the way, I'm the voice of Stephanie. But is this just round two of the mind games? Who cares if you are Stephanie or not? How are you going to help me now? Do you love me? I don't know, but what I do know is a lot is going on inside and in the vicinity of the walls of the Commonwealth. I need to know what's happening with Maggie and everyone else back at home. How are they handling the rebuilding? What are they thinking of the Commonwealth? I need to know where Negan is. There's a lot, 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 lot of questions that I need answering. And instead of just wondering about it, I'm going to watch it play out. So if you want to be with me while I watch it play out and you ain't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Down in the comment section, let's talk all things Cluedo. Who done it today? Keep it spoiler free. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there.